Okay, we're gonna go over three things in this video, and that's how to create a document, how to name it, and then how to change the name of it. Okay, so let's get right into it. I'm just in Google here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the waffle, and then I'm gonna to go to Docs. Docs just means documents. It's, we're gonna create a document. We used to call this uh, word processing, but we really have gone in millions of different directions since then. So uh, let, we just really call them documents now. And they all kind of work the same, no matter which system you're using, whether it's Google Docs or Microsoft Word or Apple Pages, they all kind of work the same. So, but we're gonna teach you docs today. So I'm in here, it's got all these examples of things, but I'm just gonna create a blank one right here. Okay, before we get into anything, there's really something important that I need to tell you. And I went and did all the video trainings and now I realized I forgot to tell you this. So I've had to come back, put it in at the beginning of this lesson, but this is it. This is how important it is. I will talk to you about different things that we're gonna do with this toolbar here, but notice some of these menu items are the same as up here. So we have a file right here and we have a file up here. And both have like the word print, like so we can print from this one, or we can print from this one. Okay, now you've got to really understand there's a difference between these two. The menu bar up here is for Safari. Okay, so that's doesn't matter what we're in, um, it's in Safari and it will print like the Safari page. We're not gonna be talking about this menu bar, okay? That's not what we use. When we're in doing anything in Google, doesn't matter if it's slides or um, making new documents or making new spreadsheets, anything like that, we're always talking about these menu items where you see my mouse going over and these pop-down menus that you see here. That's what we're always going to be referring to. So if I say go to, you know, file print, I always mean go to this, this lower one here, okay? Not up to the Safari file print up here, okay? Really important one. Uh, go and have fun with the lesson though. Sorry to interrupt. Blank, okay. And you can see this is kind of our paper here. This edge over here in the light gray is not paper. This is not paper, but this is the paper if we printed it. And right at the top, you can see this is an untitled document. So I'm going to tap in that one and I'm going to call it, uh, let's see, I'm just going to call it My Frog Poem. Okay, and then I just uh, tap on enter here. And now it's called My Frog Poem. You can see all changes have been saved to the drive. It's in here. And of course, uh, that's the name of the document, but that's by no means the title on this page. I've not actually started typing anything on the page. But let's just say you're sitting down, you're getting ready to work, and uh, suddenly your teacher says to you, well, students, I hope you all named it correctly because you've got to name things the correct way. Nothing drives your teacher more crazy than uh, 24 kids handing in 24 different documents that are named all the different things. So let's say she's written up on the whiteboard that she wants to have your name and then the words frog poem written after it. I'm like, oh no. So I just go up here and click in this, this area again. And let's just say I'm gonna get rid of my there and I'm gonna put my name because that's what she wants. So I'm gonna put Brad Flickinger and then frog poem. And you can see on her end, it's gonna be really easy because all the students are gonna turn this in and then she's gonna see all their names and that it's the frog poem. Okay, so that's gonna be easy for her. And I just tap outside of it and then it saves those changes onto my drive. So, so that's essentially, it. that's how to create a new document and that's how to name it and how to rename it. Now there's other ways to create new documents. You could go up here to file and then new document. Do you see where that one is there? So you can easily do it there as well. That's just a little trick for you people that don't wanna be newbies anymore, but wanna be looking like pros. That's how we do it in the professional league right there. But anyhow, that's how to get it done.